Hey, math fans, Jason Marshall here with a look at the practice problems from Math Dude, episode 19, all about decimal points and decimal numbers. The problems this week shouldn't be too tough if you understood episodes 8 and 9 on how to add integers quickly, because adding decimals is very similar to adding integers. So you can use all the quick calculating tips from episodes 8 and 9 to help you. For example, let's look at this relatively simple problem, 0.3 plus 0.2 plus 0.7. Our first quick calculating tip for adding integers was to look for pairs or groups of numbers that add to 10. So let's do the same thing here. 3 and 7 add to 10. But in this case, since we're actually adding 0.3 and 0.7, we get 1.0. Now all we have to do is add this to the remaining 0.2, and we get the final answer, 1.2. Essentially, it's the same problem as 3 plus 2 plus 7, except with a decimal point. In the second problem, we have a series of decimal numbers with values in both the tenths place and the hundredths place. The procedure is similar. Start with the hundredths column and look for groups of numbers that add to 10. 8, 1, and 1. Of course, in this case, this 10 is actually 0 0.1 or 1 tenth, since these are 10 hundredths, which is 1 tenth. Okay, let's write the zero below, carry the one up top, and then add the numbers in the tenths column. Three and two is five, plus three more is eight, which is eight tenths, and that's the final answer. Finally, in the third practice problem, we have a bunch of numbers that have both whole number and decimal parts. Let's start by using the second of our two quick calculating tips, adding from left to right instead of from right to left. So let's look at the ones column. And while we're at it, let's try to find pairs or groups of numbers that add to 10. As luck would have it, there is one. And when we add it to the remaining five, we get 15.0. Now, let's move to the tenths column and find pairs that add to 10. There are two of them, which give a combined total of 2.0. When we add this to 15.0, we get the final answer, 17.0. Okay, that's all for now. Until next time, this is Jason Marshall with this week's Math Dude Video Extra. Thanks for watching, math fans.